Well, it's been an awesome start of the year, um, 2019, for us right here at Tregong TV and the Games of Odds because we've been getting close and we've actually posted a 9 over 9 um, already. Welcome, guys. It's against the odds. So many interesting calls this week, including Obama Yang to score and Cristiano to continue scoring away from home. Welcome, guys. Against the odds, it is. Well, I'm Okun and I have Deji with me. Well, Deji, as usual, we have the Crave, 6 Dela DDG in Lagos State. And uh, it's brought us some good luck already this year, 9 over 9. Um, a couple of weeks ago, and we're set to continue. I'm basking the euphoria. Yeah, it, it's it's a it's a great place. Uh, just by the way, uh, if you haven't come here before, yeah. Uh, if you want to watch your football matches, uh, you know, during the weekends, uh, you want to have some really cool stuff to eat, and you know, j- just chill. Uh, basically, yeah. great place to crave. The crave, um, that is. But let's go to our very first game. Day, mm-hmm. It's in England. United. Uh, we are Fulham. Who can stop con- uh, conceding? Over 1.5 should be a very safe call. Yeah, it sounds safe uh, because Fulham have the worst defense in the league. Still the worst defense. Uh, not quite sure how they will avoid relegation with that sort of defense. Yeah. 55 goals they've considered so far this season. Mm-hmm. And it really, it's really terrible. You know, you, you compare that to Manchester United side uh, under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer scoring for fun 22 goals in nine games. Yeah. And you, you just feel that United uh, would have some joy. Fulham have been scoring as well. Uh, you know, their games... Uh, leading to the United game, last six games, we've seen at least two or more goals. And yeah. they've been involved, you know, in their only two way. Uh, so I, th- I think over 1.5 uh, seems a safe call in that game. Well, Italy has informed AC Milan, DG. Um, they're up against uh, Cagliari and we're thinking AC Milan can't lose this at home. But it's not just that, Okun. Uh, we're looking at the Cagliari side with the third worst uh, Away, away record yeah. in the league. Uh, they've lost seven of their 11 away games. Uh, pretty shambolic, you know, if you ask me. Mm. Uh, lately, they have not been winning as well. Uh, last five games, uh, they've lost four, yeah. uh, drawing one. Just one. And you, you just feel that for Milan side who are gradually getting back to some sort of form. Uh, yeah. We saw them last weekend against AS Roma with a 1-1 draw. Uh, you think that they really fancy their chances. And they should Piatek win. Piatek scoring. Yeah, exactly. Looks as if they finally yeah. have goal scoring. The they, they, they should win really, but mm. we're just staying safe. Double chance. Well, um, after Barcelona play a classic in midweek, uh, the go over to play against Bilbao should be pretty tough. So we're trying to stay safe in that one day, G. Well, look, I think the over 1.5 uh, seems a good call. Atletico Bilbao versus Barcelona. Barcelona, the top scorers in the league uh, so far this season with 60 goals yeah. and they've been scoring for fun really home or away uh, so you'd really fancy them against Athletic Bilbao to get the goals uh, they've won three of the last four meetings as well Lionel you know, Messi loves to score in this fixture if he gets to play uh, then you'd really think uh, over 1.5 is a good call and let's do Bayern Munich mm. the, 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 that's a German side who have an impressive record against Schalke for Bayern should win having won seven out of seven against Schalke They've won the last seven against Schalke 04. Uh, <laughs> we hope they make it, uh, you know, eight games in a row against Schalke 04. It's been the sort of dominance they've had over Schalke 04. Head to head, uh, the leaders were winning 27 of their 50 meetings. Uh, so it looks pretty good, uh, you know, back in Bayern Munich uh, to get a win in this one over Schalke 04. In France, DG, yeah. uh, PS, PSG finally lost um, a game in League One yeah. against Lyon. Somewhat affected us last week. But then you just have to bank on PSG when they play at home because they've not dropped a single point in League One at home and they're up against a the side who they somehow managed to get results against. They really have to bounce back PSG after yeah. the loss against Lyon uh, last weekend and uh, they're playing against the best possible side to bounce back against really. Bordeaux have been in really terrible form uh, losing the last three games in the league. Uh, PSG haven't dropped a single point in the league this season at home uh, so it seems uh, you know the perfect ground uh, the Parc de Prince if they really want to bounce back against Bordeaux and we're backing them a uh, win seems a safe call PSV and Hoven uh, 55 points in the league already 5 points clear of Ajax Amsterdam coming to the weekend AG. I was thinking that PSV and Hoven will thrash Utrecht away from home they, they look pretty solid at home um, yeah. away, away rather PSV uh, only Ajax have won more away games this season and that's because Ajax have played more away games mm-hmm. actually than them. yeah so, uh, and they're playing an Utrecht side uh, that you know if you look at their current form, they, they don't look very impressive. I yeah. think they lost five of the last six. Yeah. Uh, that, that, that's really terrible uh, when you play against PSV. PSV, uh, as you say, scorching teams, uh, leading the league by five, five, five points. Yeah. It, it's really hard to look One past PSV. Five nil last yeah. weekend, uh, guys. It's hard so to look past them. Really. It really, really, is, it is. Uh, but let's talk about goal scorers. We have yeah. three of them. There's Kylian Mbappe, who uh, against Bordeaux, we're thinking will score. Earlier, we, we we talked about PSG, hoping that they'll get the win against. But if they win, uh, then you think Mbappe is a man to be looking up to. No Neymar, uh, you know, for what the next 10 weeks are there about. Mbappe is the man, the go-to man for them. He's also the top scorer in the league. Uh, so you, you think that uh, 
you know, if PSG gets something, Mbappe should be there about uh, getting the goals for PSG. He scored five in his last four games. Amazing record. He's been in form as well. But Cristiano Ronaldo, VG, he scored in eight straight away games. A new competition record. But well, Cristiano should score this weekend most certainly for Juventus. He's been scoring for fun, had his birthday, you know, just the past week. And I'm sure he'll be looking to mark it with a goal. Yeah. 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 Should bag one, I think. Pierre Merrick Aubameyang is uh, the second top scorer in uh, the English Premier League. He has just a goal behind Mohamed Salah. He's coming up against bottom side Huddersfield, who somehow managed to concede lots of goals. And it's going to be somewhat crazy if yeah, he doesn't if score. Yeah, Aubameyang doesn't score. Uh, I think they have the second worst defense in the league, uh, Huddersfield yeah. Town. And I also feel like, you know, especially when you watch that game Huddersfield Town uh, in the last couple of weeks, they've just been cruising, almost like they've given up, uh, accepted their fate uh, to relegation. They considered five uh, last weekend against Chelsea. Yeah. Uh, so you, you'd really think Arsenal would fancy their chances. Everyone on FPL is getting Aubameyang, by the way. <laughs> it should score, I, I think. It should. Well, just like you should put him in your betting calls, you should also get him for your FPL if you do play that. Of course we do, um, guys. Uh, but that's it. Against all odds, we wish you all the best as we invite you, more like we urge you to invite your friends mm-hmm. and to subscribe to Trevion TV so they can also enjoy more of these guys. Good luck and have a blessed weekend. Mm-hmm.